Chief, we better get going soon. Yeah. What's wrong? Maybe it's just me, but you've been acting gloomy ever since we boarded this ship. Hmm? No. Really, it's nothing. What? You really think I'm acting like that? Yep. No doubt about it. Hmm. See? Just like that. <laughs> oh, I just have a lot on my mind. I'm sure that's all it is. Are you sure? If something's bothering you, I'd be more than happy to listen. Hey, Shion! <laughs> Let's go out and play! Hmm? I'll wait for you over at the shuttle launch, so hurry, okay? See you there! Mm hmm.
Chion, would you laugh at me if I told you that I think she has a heart? Cosmos? Showing emotional behavior? I've run across some interesting phenomena. It's still pretty weak, of course. Almost like a tiny little pulse. Really? We should definitely keep an eye on that. Cosmos' elemental data structure duplicates that of the human brain. So something like that's certainly not out of the question. She was empathizing with Momo back there. I wonder what her subconscious waves were like. Flatline. Oh well, nothing here at all. Well, what's the matter, Chief? You didn't come down to the beach just to stare at a screen all day, did you? Come on, Xi'an. Why don't you come and play with us? Sorry. In a bit. Are you working on Cosmos? It must be really tough. Ah, Cosmos. She's got a lot of black box areas that even we can't analyze. Black box? Yeah. We're painstakingly analyzing her bit by bit so that we can recreate her original form again. The only person who knew everything about Cosmos was Kevin. Uh. Say, Alan, do you think Guinan and Junior are father and son? They look a little too far apart in age to be brothers. I've heard rumors here and there. Some say Guinan cloned himself, while others say Junior's his illegitimate son, or... I don't think he's a clone. Their genome arrays are a little too different for that. Wow! You can actually see that, Momo? I'm an observational realian. They're more than just siblings, or father and son. But at the same time, they're not identical either. Is that sort of thing possible? Their DNA only has to differ by 0.1% to make them different people, right? Hey, who's an illegitimate son? Uh, man, this beach is really great. It doesn't feel artificial at all. It's our latest product. You can even change the weather. You can't have blue skies all the time, right? I hate thunder. She on. Representative Helmer, busy as always, I see. Well, hello, Negredo. How are things going? Hmm. I don't really care for that name. My apologies. I'm still not accustomed to calling you Guinan. So, how can I help you? We're currently headed your way, and we're carrying an unusual package. So I thought it best to inform you. Oh? We secured it from an unexpected source. The Federation cruiser Woglinde. It's an emulator. The twelfth one. That matches the UTIC records. Right. There's no question that it's responsible for the planetary disappearance. Assuming they haven't constructed any more, that's all of them. Aside from the original, of course. That's clearly impossible. Now that the only man who can create them is no longer alive. True enough. And one more thing. We have the Contact Subcommittee's 100 series prototype. 
How did that wind up in your hands? One of our passenger freighters rescued her 76 hours ago. Is the ability to attract that sort of coincidence another one of your special powers? Not a coincidence, but a probability, as a certain acquaintance might say. Anyway, I'm concerned with what the UTIC organization is up to. You may want to step up your precautions. I'll see what I can sniff out from the UMN Administration Bureau. We can locate any large-scale gate jumps from there. Excellent idea. Assuming they have no emulators in their possession. The odds are that they'll go after the original sealed on old Milsha. Not to mention... Udu. I don't know what their ultimate goal is. But we can't allow that thing to reawaken again, no matter what. Understood. We'll prepare for your arrival. I'm looking forward to seeing you again.